Hey guys, the system, and this is Sky of Diamonds. Hope everyone is well, having a busy day. I myself, truly for that's one really good day. And uh, yeah, today should be the last day of the pack. So yeah, it's just for fun today. Today is just for fun. We're gonna do that one quest line. Uh, we gotta go fight the Chaos Dragon, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and make some really good armor. Probably get to our final bonsai and ridiculous amounts of power. It's kind of the plan for the day and upgrade this thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. This thing only has to run for a few more minutes, so that won't take very long. Uh, we have our extreme crafting table. I actually have a whole bunch of stuff kind of lined up here. Just so we go ahead and make infinity agates really quick, just like that. It's going to make us this armor here, the infinity armor, which is uh, just utterly ridiculous armor. So that's cool. Drop that off, grab some more of that, some more of this stuff, a bunch of that stuff. That looks good. Need a lot of these uh, infinity agates. And usually they're a pain in the butt, um, mainly because of this here. All this, like look at that. It's just silly. All kinds of stuff that you need. And you got to make the food, and you got to make the. And this pearls, you're gonna make the singularities. But we have EMC and we have everything unlocked, so it's not really even a big deal. But we have to get it done either way. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's actually for the armor itself. Grab some of that stuff. I'll probably need some more neutronium. I actually don't know if we have enough. Go ahead and do that. So yeah, today's just for fun. We'll just uh do what we do, get it done. Uh we might have enough of the armor itself right now, so let's actually see. Let's grab everything else that we can. Yep. You know, oh, we got definitely got enough infinity now. Go ahead and grab the pants, because pants are nice. Uh, let's grab the sword, I guess. Oh, inventory too full. I forgot I did that. Uh, I got too much stuff here. Drop some of that off. Maybe some of that off. There we go. Let's go to the boots then. Nope, inventory too full. Let's have all of this stuff. <laughs> there we go. These uh, crafting tables are crazy. I, I like how it says inventory too, too full, just because it's too lazy to stack things. But anyway, let's do that there. Go ahead and let's go to the boots. That looks good. And see if it'll actually let me jump to this. Yes, it'll let me do the breastplate. Then hopefully the helmet. Nope. Inventory too full for no apparent reason. There we go. Go ahead and grab the helmet. And then hopefully finally the sword. And inventory too full. <laughs> no, it's not, man. Stop lying to me. I have plenty of room. There you go. Oh, that sword. There you go. And yeah, this is the most OP armor in the game. We're gonna kind of do that there. Go ahead and throw on the helmet, chest plate, uh, the legs, and the boots. You can see here we look totally awesome. And uh, this is probably one of the coolest looking swords uh, in Minecraft, hands down, right? So if you kind of look at it, it's got this weird little kind of red sparkly glistening thing on it. The thing has uh, infinity attack damage, so it's pretty strong. You know what I mean? It's it's pretty strong, and uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy all around. So. We have really strong armor now, which is uh, awesome. Let's go ahead and drop all this stuff off. We don't need that anymore. Uh, while we're still waiting for EMC, because we still need about another 10p there, we're going to go work on power, because why not? Do that. There we go. Oh, one more item I want to make, actually. It's this here, the Ring of uh, Inertia. So when you're flying around with armor like this, this stuff's super fast, right? But when you stop, you kind of keep sliding. This is from the add-on for uh, Draconic, Draconic Editions. This thing will make it so we don't do that. So let's go to Ring of Nursh. Grab one of them. It's a bauble. We'll just uh, wear it as a bauble then. Probably, where's it gonna go? Has to be a ring. That's a belt. That's a ring there. There you go. That looks good. Awesome. And there we go. See that? We move and then we stop dead. So it actually makes armor like this controllable. Because otherwise, armor like this, it's fun and everything. You move really fast. When you're trying to build something though, it's utterly miserable. So. That is actually really awesome. Let's actually go in here. Let's grab our uh, solar panels, the ones we were going around with yesterday. We need a bunch of plugs, I guess. Let's do that. And uh, that should be pretty much everything we need, actually. Let's go over here. Uh, maybe that. Maybe some decoration blocks as well. So let's go to factory. Factory. Grab them. That is good. Maybe a chisel. <laughs> is done. We're not going to set up 64. We're going to try to max out. We're gonna do one more channel, try to max it out. So I'm aiming for about close to 4 billion RF tech. Because after that, it gets a little silly and you gotta worry about uh, crashing your world. Which is something I'd rather not do. But uh, right now, I just wanna chisel if I can actually find one. Let's do that. And uh, grab some of these blocks here, because I like them. Let's do that. And over this way. Today's all about just uh, being ridiculous. And yes, I did say 4 billion RF. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks good. And we'll just throw these on top of that. Oh no, actually, we will end up with a pedestal right here. Now that I think of it. Go to the pedestal. <laughs> We're still getting lagged, too. I'm just waiting for that uh, 
EMC to hit the 81. Now I'm going to run over and switch to the final because uh, all those watches are still causing lag. I have that other crazy setup turned off already because uh, we didn't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, we're just going to set up a good amount of these though. I think this pedestal has three range. So that's kind of my goal here. Something like this. I don't know if you can wand these, but in the past I've tried wanting stuff like this and then you end up with a crash world. So I don't even try anymore. <laughs> I've also uh, set these things up to a bunch of stopwatches before and uh, it instantly crashed. So I'll be only using the one stopwatch on this. So it will increase the power, but uh, use a multiple. Sketchy, man. <laughs> I actually corrupted a world doing that one. So I am not doing that again. Wait, let's do that there. That looks good. Awesome. I think we actually have enough to get rid of these now. So let's do that real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of them all. We'll just uh, vein mine them. <laughs> go. That looks good. My world should instantly thank me. And then we can just turn these all off as well. That. We. Awesome. Then we go in here now. We can actually see, because we have enough uh, EMC now, the final uh, flower power. Go ahead and grab that. It's actually pretty cool looking. And uh, we'll just pop it down there. Sweet. Kind of goes all rainbow color. But you can see there it produces massive amounts. That one is so much faster than the rest. So if you go to uh, Bonsai, check that out. The 15s we were using produced uh, 19 billion uh, EMC attack. This one produces 48 trillion. So it's actually almost doing what all those other ones were doing together, right? So it's utterly silly do that. And uh, a lot easier on my world. Let's actually just speed up these ones. Go. There we go. EMC should just fly now. You can see how much it's doing. <laughs> it's going faster than it was before with just one of them. So we'll just run the one. That looks good. Then we'll want a stopwatch over here. Let's go ahead and put one on top. Won't turn that on yet. Probably go ahead and drop this stuff off too. Because that's just going to cause me grief. There you go. That looks good. We're down to only 60 quadrillion EMC right now. It's really rough. Uh, we're actually almost at the point where we can make another final. Once that hits 81. Yeah, I'm not going to, but we could, in theory. Anyway, over here, we're going to grab a bunch of plugs, I guess. Let's go. I ended up having to go underneath and uh, set these all up. But I was just going to hook them all up to plugs. It's going to be the plan. And then we're going to set them on two different channels. So I'm going to go ahead and make a probably a second channel here uh, in a second. Second channel. Oh, that's bad. I'll have to go underneath and get that one. Um, the second channel will just be a different color. Because otherwise, we can only move 2 billion RF a tick. Uh, I'd like to maximize it. I'm pretty sure, too. I need to test that really quick. Because I think we can only make up to three channels. I think I tried that earlier in the pack, and I couldn't make another channel. Go to here. Let's set that one to yellow. Call this one in two. And then take off the encrypted. Go to create. That's good. We've got two ends. Will it actually let me make a third channel? So if I go... Or I guess this would be the fourth channel. We'll go green. This out here. Hit it uh, erase all of that because uh, we do not need it. Set it to public again. And it would be this one would be what in three. Great. Too many networks. So I can only do a limited amount, right? So the most I could possibly move with the setup is uh four billion RF. And yes, I said four billion is a big number. This pack, it's really not a big deal. So I'll go ahead and uh, set these all up. I gotta make sure I disable limit all these. I gotta set up half the blue and half the yellow. Then we have to go ahead and uh, increase the size of this thing. Uh, we can get a wake of draconium from EMC anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So I'll be back in a few. There you go, I got these all set up here. I think I have the limit disabled on all of them. I think I just double checked them all. So they're doing pretty good without being sped up. Of course, they produce uh, 8 million, 8.5. It's a little weird. They have like a weird efficiency thing. And if we need to, we can throw upgrades in these and make them produce more power. But uh, I think we might be okay with that many. If not, I'll just throw in the upgrades. They're really easy to make. Move this over here too. I think I actually have this off right now, right? I have it off right now. I just want to reduce lag. We're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, uh, break this thing. <laughs> and redo it a little bit. Go ahead and break you. That was some lag. I'm still getting block lag. Really? What is block lag in me now? I have nothing running. You know. I must, do I have these ones still running? Is that what I did? Those have been running the whole time. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that should help a little bit. 
Uh, we need to make this thing bigger. So we're going up to the tier eight, which is the maximum tier. Uh, we're going to need, what do we need here? We need, I have dirt. I need placement blocks. Uh, we need stabilizers. So let's actually grab some of them. Sta stabilizers. Uh, these ones here. There we go. Need nine per, si uh, per side for the tier eight. Then we're going to need uh, a weakened draconium. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of that because I don't know how much. There we go. Then we need a bunch of just uh, draconium, right? Draconium. Uh, draconium? Just draconium, man. Just give me draconium. There you go. A ton of that stuff. I don't know if we need redstone for this one, but I might as well grab some just in case. There you go. Awesome. I have to move it up some, too, so I'll do that. I'm gonna go and break that dirt, too. I don't like it being there. It's an eyesore. Anyway, we'll have to go up a little higher, just so we have space. And then we need to figure out where we're gonna put this thing. Probably on top of that, right? Nope. Oh, can't even pick it up, man. Let's throw away draconium. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead and uh, do that there. Pop that there. That looks good. And get that uh, dirt out of there. Uh, looks good. Then we need to come out. I think it's the same amount on each side, but I forget how how wide this thing is when it's done. Six. We'll do seven. That looks good. Go and then one more. Can we actually get a preview still? Is that something we do? Tier 8. No, there's no, like, preview anymore, is there? Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, that should be good. Let's go ahead and grab the stabilizers. And, like I said, just a 3x3 three three of these. Then the multi-block, right? So it's uh, super simple. Uh, the fill one of these, even with a billion RF, someone did the math, it would still take over a year. So, yeah, this thing is massive energy storage. Um, which I always found funny because there's no mods that can use the power. One of the biggest uh, power draining mods, I guess, is uh, RF Tools Dimensions. And even that is what usually max about a couple hundred thousand <laughs> RF a tick. And this thing just stores so much power, it's more just for the lols, right? So it's still fun to do. We're going to get it set up here. It'll only take a couple more seconds to get it finished. There we go. That looks good. Uh, we need to get these stabilizers out of here because uh, we really don't need them anymore. I have to say, it's also kind of nice not worrying about picking up anything when you've reached this point. <laughs> just don't care anymore. I actually really like it. Right, let's go down here. Let's drop you off, you off, you off. See if we got enough stuff. If we actually go to assemble core, we'll start. Did it take everything or no? It just pulls as we go. Okay. Right. Forget how big this thing is, though. That's the only thing. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Get it all done there. And, uh, yeah. Look at the thing go, man. It is, uh, pretty amazing. This thing actually works really good now. Awesome. We didn't need that redstone at all, did we? Couldn't remember this one, Toka Redstone or not, in the center. And? And? <laughs> Has he even started the Awakened Draconium yet? The outside lair. There we go. This thing takes forever, actually. Wow. Yeah, we got way more uh, Wiccan Draconium than we needed, but we had around the right amount of uh, Draconium. So that's cool. This thing is so cool how it works. I don't know how far away I can get from it. I also love the wings on this armor. Looks so good. <laughs> anyway, let this thing finish up. That looks good. And then we should be able to activate it, right? I might be stuck inside it. No, we're not. So there it is. It is a massive energy ball. It uh, holds massive amount of power. Uh, it says uh, almost infinite, but it's not. You can see there's a lot of numbers there. <laughs> it is giant uh, storage. Uh, we just need to, re uh, I guess, set these ones up. They're not close enough anymore, so we'll get that done. So I guess we just need a couple pylons, right? So go ahead and grab uh, two of the pylons. That's good. Uh, we'll also need some more plugs. Let's go ahead and grab them. Probably about, uh, no, I guess we only need one plug, right? The rest would be points. We need uh, at least two points. The two different power inputs. And then uh, some glass, right? So go ahead and grab some glass. Where's my glass here? Doesn't even matter. Oh, actually, it does matter completely. I just want vanilla glass, man. Oh, there's too much glass. <laughs> I can't even find glass in there. Let's go find glass down here. This is easier. Go uh, glass. Go hunt down some regular stuff. My system's messed up again, but I'm not worried. And yeah, just kind of get it going here. Do like three out. But I did the other side there. Put one here, and there we go. Put one over here, and I'm gonna pray my world doesn't crash. <laughs> like I said, I've done this in the past. 
Of course, I went and tried to do it way worse than this. Uh, you used to be able to add way more channels to uh, Flux Networks. I don't know why they changed it that way. Probably because it, tr it crashes things, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> probably be a pretty good idea not to let people do it. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Doing stuff like this, maybe. Okay, let's do you. That looks good. I want the arrows pointing out on this one because this is the output, right? No, oh, gotta hit the top part. I always forget that. We're gonna want a just a plug on this one. It's gonna feed our machines the few that we actually have going and need power, right? So we'll do that. Then we need two points on this one, and this should start going crazy, right? So one there, one there. Set this to uh, in, right? That's good. And set this one to in. That is good. Don't want limits on that. That's just a uh, ruin our life. So it's doing not much there right now, but we don't have it sped up. We're already at 754 million RF. And uh, let's go turn her on. Let's go see what we're actually doing here. Let's make a mess. Do that there. There we go. Also moved our bonsai over here. So it's just sitting there by itself. I have it not being sped up right now because I know what kind of stress I'm putting on my world. But you can see there we're producing 4.294 billion RF a tick. So yeah, we're producing power, man. We're getting it done. Look at it. That is crazy. But you can see how slowly it's going up too. This thing will actually, when it actually registers, go to like 0. 0.0001. Tell you how full it's filling, right? They actually go to that like small little fraction of filling it to actually show you. And it hasn't even reached it yet. So it is uh, immense. It might go it after like nine, maybe. I don't know. Once it gets to, you know, nine uh, trillion RF, it might show you the 0. 0.001. But uh, yeah, it is mass mass power. Really cool. But uh, yeah, this is the first time in video I've done more than a billion RF. I've done billion RF a few times. I've never done four. And I uh, just thought it'd be fun. So anyway, we'll do that. That looks cool. And uh, we'll probably move on here. Let's actually get these out of here. I don't need that. Nope. Junk now. Oh, I'm bouncing into balls. That out of there. Awesome. Do that. Also, I want this gun. This thing is uh, bothering me. <laughs> here you go. Go away. Get it all away. Then we have to go fight the regular Ender Dragon. So that'll just take a second, right? We saw how long that took before. Uh, most of that would be spawning in. I believe we have to go to an end city, which hopefully we'll find on the way to the actual Chaos Dragon. And then, yeah, fight the Chaos Dragon. And then maybe look at some other stuff. Because Chaos Dragon, it, it'll, be a, it'll be a battle. It'll be really touch and go. I mean, we only have, you know, the most powerful armor in the game. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes here. <laughs> I'm not going to one-shot it at all. So I realized I had both these uh, set up to uh, the same channel. I had them both blue. I had a blue one here and a blue one there. So I went ahead and made another one, made the yellow. It's still at 4 billion, though, so I don't understand. Like, this one says it's moving 2 billion. And this one's moving 2 billion. But it said the same thing when I had two blues. I I'm a little confused as to how that's working. Also, I added another controller and another gargantuan tank, because why not? They're free. Didn't change the, uh, the, the power going in at all, so... Still 4 billion. So I have no idea. I, I have the limits off everything, right? So the limits off everything. Nothing special there. And uh, same here. Limit is off, right? Nope. And you can see they're both moving the power. So I'm not sure. Maybe I am producing 8 billion. I, it's not based on here, right? But, uh, I'm a little confused because, yeah, when I had two blue ones, it was still said 4 billion. I have no idea. Anyway, that is cool. Oh, I guess I could test one little thing first. Let's go. Um, point, yeah, be here. If I take that and I put it here, you know, and say in, you go. Know, yeah, that did, did that change? 4.29. Oh, that's a disabled limit. 2 billion, 2 billion. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Oh. We're producing more power. Look at this. Look at this. This is just silly. Uh, in how much can I get out of this? I'm curious now. Do that. Go ahead and do yeah. There you go. So it's uh two billion per point. Ah, well the things you learn. Uh, we need one more point. Let's go here. I'll be out of sides after this, and I don't really care. We're probably producing a little more power than this, but I guess it doesn't matter at all, right? Go ahead and do one more blue. Here we go. Uh, there we go. One more yellow. That's cool. Awesome. So yeah, that maxed it out either way. We're at about uh, seven and a half billion. 
They, it was at 8, but that was probably just the buffer inside the solar panels. And uh, I could probably push that up to like 15. <laughs> Actually, now I have to try. Let's head over here. Try this out. Go uh, here. Let's go to uh, efficiency, right? These upgrades here, right? I think it makes it produce more power on the base. See here. Let's uh, start putting these in here. Oh, you can't shift those in. Seriously. I have to do this all manual. You'll notice as soon as I put it in there, it goes up to 16 million. Uh, <laughs> all right, a tick. Here you go. Just to get a little more power of these, I just, uh, let's, let's break 10 billion. I've never broken 10 billion before. It's actually be a new record for me. So that is cool. And knowing that uh, I could get to just ridiculous, I mean, it already is ridiculous, I guess. Amounts of uh, power would be amazing. You can only put 20 in, right? Yeah. I haven't used these solars very much, to be honest, uh, in the past. Usually just at the ends of packs like this, where I could just make them like they're nothing. But, and then it's usually just for giggles at, the, at that point, because you don't need the power. So a lot of this overpowered stuff, like it's really cool and stuff, right? Really cool that it's so overpowered. You can do the crazy things, but you never get to actually like use it except for at the end of the pack to go, oh, wow. You know what I mean? You just don't get to really enjoy it because I wish there were some mods. So what, what I'm basically trying to say is I wish there were more mods that actually utilize the power because then it would be a lot cooler, right? You get to go ahead and do crazy amounts of power then had a place to use it. That'd be amazing. Or just scale it all down. That's one thing I've been saying for a while, actually. There's been kind of a power creep and modded over time where things have just gotten more and more single magic blocks, right? So magic blocks, things have just gotten more and more simple, easier. I mean, we started off with, like, build craft, and uh, everyone just thought that was, like, everything, right? You just you were able to automate things, right? <laughs> and then everything has just gotten so much simpler every year since, right? It's just reached a point where... There's too many just all-encompassing single blocks out there, right? It's just too simple. Anyway, that is cool. Let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on here. Oh, I was waiting for the inertia. I didn't do anything. So we're actually producing about 15 billion RF, which is utterly insane, really crazy, and pretty cool. So one of the last things we got to do here is go fight the Ender Dragon. Let's actually look the list here to the winning thing. Let's go down here, uh, the end. And it says uh, winning the game. So we're going to fight the Ender Dragon again because uh, we didn't get this first time. Then we got to get a Elytra, which should be super easy. And some of these crystals, which I actually think have EMC, right? We could actually do that, but we'll fight it either way, right? Let's go to Chaotic. Yeah, we can actually just grab the crystals just like that. And then that's pretty much it. So that is pretty cool. So let's actually get it done. That is cool. We have everything there. We're going to need an end portal, so we can do that really easy. I want to do it this way because people always tell me you can't use these uh, portal and portal frames. Just need to know how to do it. So well, let's go here. There you go. We're down here. Now, the way you want to do this is make sure you're standing on like the center block and you want to put them two out, right? So like that, that, and that. Yes. You try to place them from the outside. They don't seem to work correctly. So you just do that there. Go ahead. And then we should be able to just throw all the eyes in, right? Sweet. There you go. Portal, just like that. So they do work. Anyway, that's good. Uh, we should grab a, uh, what is it there, a chicken pet? Nope, grab a chicken pet. That gives you a speed boost, right? And does the ocelot as well, the ocelot pet? No, not the ocelot. There's another one that gives you speed, I can't remember. I'll just stick with the chicken. Do that, go ahead into our bag there. Put a feed thing. Need some seeds as well, while I'm thinking of it. Let's go in here. Seeds, good, that's uh, for them, right? These full seeds, yeah, that's good. That make us a little faster. We got a lot of flying to do. <laughs> Go down here. Sweet. We're in the dimension. Now we just need to respawn the dragon. Shouldn't take too much. Go grab some crystals. Need to put uh, four of these on here. I don't think it matters where you put these really either, but I just kind of do it like that. There you go. Got a really loud dragon. Options, controls. That's actually deafening to me, not even just you guys. I have to lower that volume a ton. Uh, options, uh, music and sounds, and uh, this master volume, I guess, until he's done. <laughs> Why you gotta be so loud, Mr. Dragon? Actually, that's too much. The options, sounds, do like uh, 15. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, just get this guy fought. Then we need to fly 10,000 uh, blocks out in any direction. It doesn't matter, just as long as it's like cardinal for the center of this island. And uh, you'll hit a Chaos Dragon, which is pretty cool. Go wait for the respawn here. There we go. 
still alive, man. There you go. Come here. Don't you fly for me. <laughs> I want to one-shot you with the sword. Did I get him? There we go. Awesome. So we got that one done. That's awesome. And then we'll get to the center of the island here. And then head in a direction. Oh, man, that's deafening. <laughs> Should have thought about that before I did this. Uh, there's what? North there? Let's go north 10,000 blocks. There we go. I'm going to watch that in the map there. You see the top right. I'm going to watch the X coordinates and uh, make sure we're pretty much, you know, within 100 of that. A couple hundred, actually. And then, yeah, just fly 10,000 blocks. And it shouldn't take very long here. I mean, we're already at 1,000 blocks. Hopefully, we hit an end city on the way, which is cool. Oh, there's one right there. And there's a boat. There's our elytra. So that should handle that quest there. I think... Oh, let's not do that. <laughs> I think it's actually the elytra we need. I just uh, guessed from the quest there. Yep. This one is just uh, chaos. Okay, cool. Uh, head up this way. Oh, I don't have my teleport either anymore so i can't go up and down super fast with the teleport i'm not using that sword anymore unfortunately anyway let's head in here there you go city at the end of the game get rid of you grab ourselves an elytra awesome this was actually what was keeping me from getting the other table too everyone kept telling me to make this uh alchemy table or tablet what is it uh transmutation trans maybe trans mutation <laughs> everyone was telling me to make this but you have to have an elytra because you got to make these opinion cores. So probably won't even bother to do it. Anyway, let's uh, make sure we're heading north again. Make sure we're on the right axis. And uh, yeah, we're still at uh, about X10. You always get a little bit of drift either way, but I guess it doesn't matter as long as you get there in time. So yeah, this fight. It's going to be rough. It's going to be real hard. I mean, enter the Chaos Dragon shoots all kinds of particles at you. He's got all kinds of uh, other things he shoots at you. He's got all kinds of balls and stuff he shoots at you. It's just a really hard fight, so hopefully we can handle it. I'm a little concerned. But anyway, we got that weird biome down there. Acidic Plains. <laughs> that is crazy. We're still pretty much on our x axis. We're already at uh, 3,000 blocks, so yeah, we can move at a pretty good pace with this armor and that pet there. Probably could have got some more speed, but uh, this is fine. You know what I mean? I don't think this is actually as fast as the Traconic Armor. I think the Traconic Armor is faster, but... Either way, we're good. We're almost uh, by, phone. I guess, 4,000 blocks out there. We'll hit about 10 in a few minutes. I'm um, cool. That's a cool biome. What's this one? Did you growth? Oh, that was the one we saw earlier in the pack, right? Kind of forgot about that one. Either way, almost done. Get this finished. It's been a fun series, though. I've really enjoyed this. This has been really fun. Uh, it, it was what I expected out of the pack. Some people will say the pack was too easy. The pack was this. The pack was that. It's exactly what I explained at the start. I said it was an easy, overpowered pack, and that's what it is. It's an easy, overpowered pack. Sometimes it's nice to just chill and refresh your brain on packs like this, right? <laughs> Straight up refresh your brain, uh, especially after you've been playing hard packs for a long time. I personally get brain fried after a while. It's just like, uh, more grind, more deep thinking, because you get into those harder packs sometimes. You have to really think about your automations and stuff. Pack like this every once in a while, just nice it just lets you just do what you want you see i barely automated anything really in this pack you know what i mean i found workarounds to everything because my brain still works in overdrive just the way i work and i uh, always try to find the not even the easiest routes i always try to find a different route and i always try to uh automate things most efficient i can find while being the simplest i like simple automation it's just the way i work but anyway that is cool because i find a lot of time people over over complicate automations way too much i just like taking it and tearing it down to its raw form and just making it uh simplistic it's uh, a lot of times it doesn't need to be any more than that anyway we're almost there we're uh almost at the dragon here we got to be ready for a fight uh, this is gonna be a rough one man i didn't even bring a projectile weapon what am i gonna do okay, let's head this way we go you can tell everything's changing here's our island we got these uh crystals here we got a dragon here somewhere Where's he at? There he is. Come here. <laughs> yeah, he shoots a lot of stuff. He's actually really cool. He's done well. He's animated amazingly, actually. The wings just look amazing on him. There you go. I beat him. Yep, really touch and go. Real hard. Uh, wasn't sure we we're going to be able to do it. Real hit or miss. Now we gotta get inside of this thing, I guess, technically, and get some crystals. So let's actually head to the center. Here we go. 
Head down this way. There we go. There's our crystals. There's some uh, ender skeletons. Or ender skeletons. I guess those are uh, endermen. Then we gotta break this crystal here. Oh, maybe? You gonna let me? There we go. Is that actually breaking it? Maybe? Oh, is the shield? No, the shield's gone. There's usually a shield here if you come down right away, right? There we go. Progression. Gotta get that up to 100% before this place blows up, because this island's going to explode now. There we go. And, uh, usually, usually, okay? So usually we would run now. Usually we would run. But, uh, we're wearing overpowered armor, right? Very, very overpowered armor. And, uh, I'm not really concerned. I don't really care. It can just happen. Just, just let it happen. Just let the singularity explode. You know what I mean? It doesn't really matter much to me. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is the most overpowered armor there is. You literally can't be targeted with this armor. It's just totally insane. I think even in the past, you couldn't even be slash killed with it. Anyway, <laughs> there goes the island. There goes everything. And, uh, yeah, we did it. We win. We won. We won. We won the pack. Well, we won the pack. It's actually pretty crazy and uh, pretty amazing. So yeah, that is a that is a thing. Um, what is this one though? Winning the game, basic physics. What what do I need for basic physics? Apparently, I need to figure out what other quests we need, as we're missing one. Oh, we get a red matter sword. Yeah, like like we need it. Diamond singularities, random pet. Get some levels. I'm just curious what we unlocked there. Dragon mill, like we need it. And some Gia Spirits. Anyway, what is the Cheetah? Is that the speed one? I should have grabbed this. This is the speed one. The other speed one, right? What's this one eat? Raw meat. Fan suggested. Anyway, that is that. And uh, I guess I'll try to figure out what the last quest is. <laughs> okay, I finally found the quest we actually need. So I'm going to finish them up here. We actually needed the Neutronium Compressor and the Neutronium or the Neutron Collector. So yeah, we'll get those done there. There you go. Which is how you usually get these, uh, like, pile of neutrons. And you kind of, like, raft them up to the next level, right? This is how you get, like, these neutronium agates and stuff. And the nuggets. It's a lot of crafting. It's a lot of time. I think these things just produce the neutrons over time. Like, over long periods of time, you just, yeah, you just get a neutron. A uh, pile of neutrons, I should say. They craft it up to a nugget. Then the igot. It takes forever. And these ones are how you make the singularities. But we didn't have to do that. So, anyway, let's go down here. Actually go to the end now, and it just wants an affinity agate, and we just happen to have some of those, so that's fine. We literally had one left. Is that really what we had? Let's go here, infinity. That's funny how that worked out. But anyway, let's go ahead. Check that. What did we actually get? Creative conversion kits and creative storage, so infinite of ten different items that you want. Creative power source, pizza, and affinity block. So that is awesome. This also, so those diehard people, so I know some of you guys just love playing packs like this, right? So if you want to have something to keep doing, you can go down to, is it down here, trophy room? No, there's like an OP one. Oh yeah, challenges. You open this one up, right? This section contains various challenges uh, for the true completionist. Do that, sweet. And you start getting crazy quests. So I already have that one. Uh, once you make all the weapons and tools, then octuple compressed cobblestone. <laughs> do I have the EMC for that one? Can I do that one right now? Can I go to Octuple Press Cobblestone? Yeah, right there. I got one. <laughs> but if you wanted to do it the legit way, right? Is it going to detect that? Yeah, what do we get? Water again, a creative water again, and eight creative cobblestone generators. <laughs> That's hilarious. Same thing with the uh, quadruple compressed dirt. Go to uh, quad uh, quadruple compressed dirt. There you go. I'm just curious what some of these are now. Do that. There you go. Spawn rocket squid and magical wood. There you go. Yeah, actually. Oh, you need 64 of those. Look at that. I'm not even going to bother. But anyway, there's all kinds of quests like that. So you can kind of fool around, do that stuff. Get all kinds of crazy rewards. I just got a thousand levels. So I have a thousand and twenty two levels. And uh, that's going to be the end of the pack for me. So like I said, I really enjoyed this pack. I thought it was a good time. Um, playing the other one there now. So I'm playing Pokemon Craft. I'm going to be picking up another one really soon as well. So I'm going to try to keep two going. Because I know Pokemon Craft isn't for everyone. But it's definitely for me. And it's another one where it's just it's just fun. I just enjoy it. So definitely going to be playing it. So that is a thing. But I am going to end this series here. So as always, if you guys like this series, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. When you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. So have a good one. Later.